Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you a little bit about something that happens behind the scenes whenever C actually makes a program in strings specifically and it's called the string terminator. So it's actually not as cool as it sounds but it is pretty cool and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. I'm just going to type Bucky Roberts right here and of course we know that this is a string. Now whenever C makes your program and compiles it and runs it what it actually does is it needs to know where the end of the string is and this is just for memory management it's not really important but what it does is it adds a special character to the end of your string called a string terminator so what this is is it's basically just a um, a special symbol and of course we don't actually print this out or the user actually never sees it but it is there to just tell C this is the end of the string um, the next piece of memory is you can like store something else in there. Now, why I'm mentioning this, you're like, all right, why are you even telling me? Because the user never sees it. We don't have to put it in there manually. So what's the point? Well, the reason I'm mentioning this is because um, whenever you're doing stuff like calculating the length of strings or calculating how much memory you're going to have to set aside to store a string, you need to include that as well. So in order to determine the length of strings, it's every single character and this white space, every single piece of white space actually counts as a character too. And you have to add that string terminator. So let's see how, how much memory we would need for this string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it has thirteen characters, including the white space, and we would need fourteen bytes. And of course that one extra one is for the string terminator so if you ever see that little issue um or if you're like seeing how many bytes the string took up and it is kind of off that's why now now that you understand that I want to mention something else that might be kind of confusing whenever you create a string like this you're actually not creating one big um, chunk of memory you're actually creating something called an array now an array is it's pretty much just a list of items of the same data type and what I mean is you can have a list of integers like 8, uh, 20, 34 you can have a list of characters like A, B, C, D, E and what this string is is it's actually a character array so what the computer sees is just a list of characters it sees a B and then a U and then a C, K, Y space so on and so forth and this is actually important because we can do pretty cool things with arrays so I'll, uh, let me go ahead and create a simple program now and I'll show you guys how to actually create an array um, it's different than um, the strings we've been using before so anytime you want to create an array you first need to tell C what type of data you're going to use so of course with a string it's a list of characters and that is C H A R in C so the next thing you need to do is you need to give a name pretty much like you name variables you need to name your array and I'm just gonna store my name Bucky Roberts so I'm gonna name mine name now um, right after this go ahead and press those brackets that are next to the P on your keyboard or at least they're next to the P on mine and in between these brackets we need to tell it how many bytes this string is gonna take up now remember my name Bucky Roberts with the space included it's 13 characters however we need to set aside some space for the string terminator ugh, string terminator at the end so I'm gonna put 14 right there so basically we said we're gonna create a list of characters it's gonna be called name and it's gonna hold 14 or pretty much set aside 14 bytes of memory for this and then just like a variable we'll set it equal to Bucky Roberts and of course everything ends with a semicolon so now what we can do is pretty much just um, print this out like print F and of course what are we gonna put my name is I'll just put yeah keep it simple percent S and I'll put that on a new line now after this of course like I said just go ahead and type name and when you run this hopefully it says my name is Bucky Roberts pretty sweet alright so why the heck would they make this um 
like this programming language where you need to make a list. Why didn't they just put string name equals Bucky Roberts? Wouldn't it be easier? Well, the cool thing about this is because is pretty much that you can do a lot of things or a lot more things with an array or a list of items. And let me guys, uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about right now. So first of all, I want to show you guys how to access an individual item or element as they're called in your array.